Hey guys, it's Dr. Isfahan and I'm kicking off our Learn Love Grow series with a very quick meal that you can make for yourself and your family. We're gonna be making salmon cakes today and they are delicious. I hope that you try them out. They're also kid friendly for those of you that don't know. I have a five month old and I have twin six year old boys. If you have kids, you know that it's very hard to get them to eat healthy foods, but this is a perfect way to get it into their diet. My kids really eat these up. Also, salmon cakes can be really healthy for you because they have omega-3 fatty acids in them that help to lower your rate for heart disease, dementia. On the hair side, it's also very healthy because omega-3s help to lower the inflammation in the follicle. So if you're having like an inflamed scalp from alopecia or something like that, this can help you. And it also helps with the natural oils that our scalp creates, which is called sebum. Um, so it's overall just really healthy to eat salmon and things that have omega-3s in them. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip the camera so that you could see how to make these delicious salmon cakes. Okay, so these are all of the ingredients that you are going to need. And don't worry about the amounts that I use for this recipe. I'll have the recipe in a blog post and it'll be posted at the top of my Instagram page. So the first thing you wanna do, like I said, this is a really, really simple, simple meal. What you first want to do is add your wet ingredients and your spices, and then you're gonna add your meats. So the first thing I'm going to add is mayo. So I don't like to use mayo because we don't like mayo in the house. So I use something called Chosen Foods Vegan Mayo and you're going to add one fourth of a cup. Okay, the next thing you're going to add is lemon juice. So I'm going to add that to my mayo. It's one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm going to add this Dijon mustard. The next is a teaspoon of Obey seasoning. Then we're gonna add three fourths of a tablespoon of salt. I like to use pink salt. So then once you have all of those ingredients, you're just gonna whisk it together. Now I'm gonna add the salmon. The salmon, what I like to do is use about a pound and a half of salmon and then I'll buzz it in the food processor. So I'm gonna add this to my wet mixture. The next thing you wanna add are your panko crumbs. You want to add in one fourth cup of uh, panko breadcrumbs. And then you also want to add one fourth of a cup of diced scallions, and I've already diced my scallions. Want a third of a cup of celery, which is about two celery stalks. So I'm just gonna add that. And then last, which I think is like the secret ingredient, is you want to add two tablespoons of finely chopped dill. Okay, so now that it's combined, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to make patties, and I'm going to put them in some panko crumbs, and then I'm going to transfer them to my um, my line sheet. Okay, so I made my salmon patties. As you can see, I made some little ones. If you have little kids, these are perfect size for them. Right now, you can do one or two things. You can spray this with some olive oil and then put it in the oven at about 350 degrees for maybe 20 minutes, or you could do like how I like to do it, which is to pan fry them in olive oil. I just like how they taste much better. So that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Okay guys, so I have my salmon cake cooking in the pan. Um, I added about maybe three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once they finish, I will come back. Okay, it's about 30 minutes later and I am done with my dinner. I made salmon cakes with some wild rice and a salad. And it took me, like I said, about 30 to 40 minutes to make this. And you have leftovers, which all of us that cook know how great leftovers can be because you don't have to cook the next day. So we are about to eat, but I really, really hope that you try out this recipe. The salmon cakes are delicious. I love crab cakes, but I like these salmon cakes even better. And like I said, the, the recipe will be in the description box on my Instagram page and on Facebook. We'll put it in the comment section. Have a good rest of your weekend and I'll speak to you guys soon. All right, bye.